Aloha. Well, it's deeply into spring at this point. We are heading towards May. Um, and so, it's really time to get those gardens in. Uh, you know, there's only the people who live maybe way up in the northern tier, zones 3, 2, 1, uh, that you should be holding back for a while. But if you're 5 and south, get with it. And uh, even in four, um, radishes, tough stuff, good time for it. Even if you get a little bit of a snowfall, it's not going to hurt crops like that. Anyhow, well, I'm not looking forward to snow, at least not down here. But this is a six-pack of an oak leaf lettuce called Bauer. Uh, it came from Johnny Selected Seeds. It looks very vigorous. It's a first for me. I've not used this one. But uh, we've been out planting Roselle, so I got the fruiting hibiscus in this week. Oh, I've been planting some lowland koa trees that I've been holding on to for a while. Finally got them in the ground. Uh, got some help from one of the viewers who stopped in. Uh, and then, oh, I ate all my romaine. <laughs> yep. And so here's the next wave, uh, oak leaf lettuce. As uh, many of you out there already know, in Hawaii we have trouble with a, uh, a slug here that eats rat dew, and uh, then it gets a nematode from the rat they call rat lung worm, and it can be carried to human beings, and we don't want it. <laughs> okay, so we don't want slug slime on our lettuce. That's the really the main issue here. Now you see, I've got this 20-gallon uh, tree tub here. These are UV-stable poly. They will last for years. Um, this one is already six, seven years old. Okay, it's still going strong. No problems here. Uh, the uh, the band right here. This is self-adhesive copper foil, and slugs don't like it. If they try to cross it, they shudder because there's minute electric current from the atmosphere there. Now, some people love to really reinforce this, and they'll use two strips, about a half an inch or an inch apart, and then they solder a 9-volt battery onto it. Um, I don't find that's necessary, and so I like simplicity and just the copper strip works. Now I'm getting ready to clean that strip though. It's starting to get quite a bit of, uh, of green on it from the slugs and the rain and so you don't want it turning green. If it turns green it doesn't work very well anymore. It should be nice and clean. You can use lemon juice, you can use vinegar, uh, you can use a little bit of, of fine steel wool. This will clean it up. Anyway, inside the tub here I've got a uh, standard commercial growers media um, now when removing your plants from the six packs uh, the best way to do this is to turn the six pack over give the cell just a little bit of a squeeze it'll release and they come right out okay and so I got six plants here I'm gonna look for six holes one two three four five six there we go six holes okay so I got six pockets to put them in I'm just gonna go ahead and push them in there now with lettuce do not plant deeper than it grew originally you don't want to bury the stem on lettuce it's not a good idea okay press them in good Feels like mist coming. So I better hurry up. Don't want to get that camera wet again. Okay, there we go. All planted out. Professional growers medias don't have any nutrients in them and so we're gonna need to feed this lettuce. This is 
dry pelletized chicken manure, Nutrovich it's called. And here comes the rain. Well, I was going to go on out and talk about corn silk and tassel, but it looks like it's going to be raining for a while now, so I guess I'll have to give this one up. Come on inside where it's dry. Yeah, I don't want to get the camera all wet. So, anyway, the, the corn is getting close. Uh, and from here you can see the silk is all green. It's nice and whitish green, fresh looking, not brown or dry. Uh, we won't start to look at the ears until we start to see some of the silk dry for a while. So I'll get back to the corn later. All right? Aloha.